Hi, I'm also known as Bog, and welcome to Comic Cover Showcase. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a very special comic that uh, I was able to pick up many, many years ago, and uh, I'm sure you guys are probably going to be fairly familiar with it. You already saw the intro, you see what's playing over on the side here. And so what I've got today is I have Ultimate Fallout, issues number one through six, and this is the... 1 in 25 uh, retailer incentive variant. And it's a connecting cover by artist Marco Dvorak. Dvorak? Probably pronouncing that horribly wrong, so I'm very sorry. But I love his artwork. Uh, this is the second one of his connecting covers we've actually seen on uh, the cover, uh, the, show, the comic cover showcase here. Uh, I thought I'd start with a couple of his because I really like him. And... Uh, as I collect, I usually uh, just kind of sample books, and when I like something, I'll go with it for a while. But whenever it's available, um, I will pick up a connecting cover. And, you know, there's people that say sometimes the connectings aren't as popular, and I get that. Uh, but I really like connecting covers. I like wraparounds. I like gatefolds. I like just big art. And um, this one, as you'll see, is a beautiful set here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of go over here, and we've got issue number one. You get uh, Captain America, Ant-Man, well, I guess Giant Man, the Wasp, uh, Hulk, Thor, the uh, classic Ultimates from the Ultimate Universe. And uh, we'll pull it over here. And uh, issue number two features a lot of the X-Men. you got Wolverine, you've got Sabretooth, you've got Magneto on there. I believe that's Rogue at the top. And uh, we've got uh, Marvel from the Ultimate Universe. Of course, Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, fantastic uh, for Human Torch, uh, the Invisible Woman, and of course we get to the big one. Now, um, <clears throat> issue number four, in addition to being the first appearance uh, of Miles Morales, uh, who of course goes on to become Spider-Man after the death of Ultimate Spider-Man, um, is uh, going to be a big one, but you also have the first appearance of the Maker, which may be pretty big down the road. Um, and of course on the cover here you've got uh, Ben Grimm uh, supercharged whatever you form you want to call him after he gets powered up in the ultimate universe and sheds his outer sh shell um, I believe that is going to be Gwen Stacy if I'm not mistaken you got Black Cat you've got Doom on there very nice comic um, it's one I'm going to have to send in for grading 100%. Uh, I see that that's quite the popular comic these days. Uh, and of course, with it being a 1 in 25 variant, I expect it to be more popular than the standard cover, which is, of course, very popular and sought after. Um, but I mean, there's only 25 of these for every one of these for every 25 of those. So I would say this one's more popular, it's got to be more popular. And it's uh, also got uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man right on the front. So, I mean, come on. It's a great comic. i um, really glad I picked up. You've got Weird Hulk. you got New Wasp. Uh, you got the Black Panther. Let's see. And the final issue, you've got, of course, Jimmy Hudson, Wolverine's son in the Ultimate Universe. Maybe Young Blob. I can't remember. Maybe Young Magma. I believe that is Young Jean Grey. Young Mimic, maybe? I can't remember what his name is. But very cool comic, really cool art. Um, we just flipped through it there. And, of course, um, let's go over to... We're going to take a quick look online. And this is, uh, I believe, recallcomics.com. And it's a section they have called Rare Comics. And I just looked up for some info and it says it's a 1 in 25 retailer incentive. Uh, variant for Ultimate Fallout 4 with a cover by Marco de Dutur I'm not going to read it again. Sorry, guys. The comic is split into three stories. Spider-Man, written by Mike, Brian Michael Bendis, with art by Sarah Pacelli. Reed Richards by Jonathan Hickman, with art by Salvador Lorca. And Valerie Cooper by Nick Spencer, with art by Clayton Crane. Man, what a cool book. I love Clayton, Clayton Crane's art. I love Jonathan Hickman's writing. Um, Bendis is solid, too, and I like Sarah Pacelli's work. It was a really cool book. Very nice. It was good. It's the first uh, story uh, Spider-Man uh, 
Uh, or the first story of Spider-Man famously contains the first appearance of Miles Morales from Earth-1610. Um, let's see, the Dvorak cover is the only first print variant, but the issue did have two second printing variants. Uh, one with the Mark Bagley cover and another reprinting the Miles Morales uh, are above by Sarah Pachali, but without the speech bubble, bubble in background. <laughs> um, see, there's also an Italian language variant using the same Dvorak cover produced by European publisher Patini Comics, uh, and they're based in Italy. Uh, it is worth noting that uh, the second story of the issue, Reed Richards... Um, the first appearance of Reed Richards as the maker. Uh, so this is why I wanted to come here. As of late July 2020, CGC had recorded 568 gradings of the variant edition, with 144 at the top grade of 9.8. Uh, they categorized the issue as the Devotric Retailer Incentive, and at that time they had a population recording of 39 gradings, with 8 in the top uh, grade of 9.8. Um, so they say it's not too difficult to find, but uh, plan to pay a lot if you get a, a slab copy. So, like I said, I've got to go get these slabs. I'm getting an excuse here. Uh, let's see here. Um, so thank you for tuning in for uh, Comic Cover Showcase. Uh, I'm hoping to do these two or three times a week. and Because, uh, like I said, I collect a lot of gatefolds, a lot of uh wraparounds a lot connecting covers so hopefully we'll do this for a little while until i just run out of stuff in the collection um but in the meantime let's take a close-up look god this cover look at this this is gorgeous man am i right am i right you know uh we'll take a look here and oh, i realize there's no oh no music on that one i'm gonna have to fix that no background music but that's okay i'll just keep talking for this part we got Thor, Ultimate Thor, Iron Man. We can't kind of already talked about who's on each cover. I miss Nick Fury and Green Goblin there. Um, let's see, art really pops. I think that is the Ultimate Ghost Rider. We've got Ultimate Valkyrie. So overall, very cool uh, cover. Definitely happy that I've got a set. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, they were selling it's 125, so I probably they were probably priced at 25 dollars each at Mile High Comics uh, when I picked them up. And um, if I had to guess, I believe I got a 20 percent discount off uh, because I've got a nice account with them. So I probably paid 20 dollars a cover. Not a bad pickup. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time on Comic Cover Showcase.